Greetings and welcome everyone to episode 287 of Terra Venture Podcast. Anthony Mars Jr. on PR Lost Galaxy 2014, presented by Instagram and Facebook accounts for PR Lost Galaxy 2014, and I don't know, Morphin Megaverse, Power Rangers, Facebook group. If you haven't seen any, check them out now. I want to tell you a story of something that I pretty much held as a secret for a long time. And this was one of those topics that was not related to Power Rangers, the TV show, but part of, once again, fan fiction. And, of course, my crushes of celebrities and what celebrities were underrated and celebrities that are gone and things like that. You know, I really want to tell you this story. This also has to revolve around my abandoned Power Rangers Lost Gals to the Rise of Turkina fan film. You know, it's been seven years since 2010 during the time of the show's reinsurgence by Saban um, with the reacquisition of the franchise. But while I, when Power Rangers was not on the air for a whole year of 2010 with no new season whatsoever besides, you know, Disney's crappy reversion of Mighty Morphin. Um, you see, when I was focusing on other things in 2010, you know, even though 2010 was the year I started my 12th grade year, came the fall of that year, while my mind was still on Power Rangers, and when I started, you know, this is a really weird, weird piece of little history I want to share with you guys. For the first time in five years of PR Lost Galaxy 2014 that I would ever discuss this with you guys. And it has to do with, you know, something about, you know, when I did the fan film or a script for it before the film, I did sort of a crossover, fanfic crossover between Power Rangers and several other, you know, sources. And one of those sources, you may ask, would have to be wrestling. And considering that not only I'm a fan of Power Rangers, but I'm also a fan of wrestling as well. WWE and in fact, if you go back to 2010, you know, this is what I'm saying here. In 2010, I was into TNA Wrestling, TNA Impact. And during early 2010s wrestling, WWE and TNA, I was acting like, oh, TNA is better and WWE. Well, because back in that time frame, I was not liking some of the wrestlers that they had on um SmackDown and Raw during the early 2010s, late 2000s, uh, you know, even though I did appreciate wrestlers like R-Truth and, and back when Booker T and Charmel was together, you know, King Booker and, you know, and still John Cena and, uh, and whatever women wrestlers were around, like, of course, Beth Phoenix and Mickie James before she went kaput from WWE in 2009. And then, you know, all of a sudden came, you know, as of 2016, 2017, she's back in WWE, you know, opposite, you know, with Alexa Bliss and several others. But back in the time when I was working on Power Rangers, Lost Galaxy, The Rise of Trakina, you know, when I, you know, this is something that those guys over at uh, the forum site, Freaking Awesome Network, you know, I posted a video vlog about that with uh, footage I never released, uh, footage of me ranting to them that I never released back in 2012 that I originally recorded original archive footage of me doing a video response to Freaking Awesome Network. And that I never got to release in 2012. That I later released that t at that point three years later in 2015, two years ago. And it had to do with the fact that out of all the, you know, I'm going to have to spill it out, but out of all the uh, those who are probably in TNA and and you know the ones that are not in TNA and or not wrestling at all anymore, is one particular T, you know, former TNA knockout, former WCW female valet um, that I really want to discuss. That I am going to regret, uh, fanfic wise, you know, mixing Power Rangers with TNA wrestling. Now, no WWE of any kind, but you know, um, you see, I don't know what I was thinking at the time during all this fanfic stuff. And back on the time when I was on Ranger Wiki, you know, previously back then, if you remember, you know, based on my, you know, even though based on my recollective uh, memory. The morphing morphing grid of powers Power Rangers Super Sentai Wiki. I guess that's what it was called back then. And you know, based on my re recollective memory, when I started doing all this, you know, posting random stuff, and no wonder uh, those guys on Freaking Awesome Network made fun of me, you know, with the you know, the fanfic uh, stuff, and you know, what, and especially what was actually really actually went on in my high school years. Uh, 
you know, even at the time when I did, you know, did all this posting random stuff on the internet. And to be honest, though, I'm going to regret this in thorough. Remember, remember Daphne, aka Shannon Sprill? And you know everybody knows that she was in TNA, well, and in WCW and several in those independent rec- wrestling circuits. You know, um, I don't know what got me to do a video about Daphne today, but knowing that she's she's been gone for a, a, a long while now, a long time now, and very long ago at this point, um, after she won the lawsuit against TNA for the injuries, the concussion injuries and stuff, um, you see. I'm going to regret this because, you see, I know there are probably still people who are still fans of her, even though she's no longer, you know, out wrestling anymore because of the injuries and stuff anymore. But, you see, the thing is, when she was in TNA and when I was, like, becoming somewhat a fan of her before she quit, and when I only came into the party with her being part of the roster late, and looking back... I, I just don't know what to say, guys, but um, there is something I've waited to say for seven years, well, six years or so, that, depending on the, the where this video is going, and something that I've been wanting to say for, seven year, for six years that I never guess I would say right now, but I'm going to say it anyway. Look, I'm not going to lie to you guys. As int- as visually appealing Daphne was with her zombie hot appearance and everything, she really wasn't really a great wrestler. I'm just going to tell you guys now, she she wasn't great. I mean, what has she, I mean, what has she done? I mean, that was victorious that made her a champion in in the wrestling world. She's never won championships. She never won a championship belt for the women's knockout division in TNA. She was a valet. She was just there. She was... I don't know what to say, guys, but... I just come to realize she just wasn't all that great. She just wasn't all that great. I mean, looking back in retrospect... I mean... Now, to be honest, though, I mean, I don't know if I still like her zombie hot stuff. Looking back in the archive footage, you know, archive photos of when she was, you know, the crazy bitch that she was in wrestling and probably still crazy bitch now, but even though she's no longer wrestling anymore, but to be honest though, she may have been underrated. She may be underrated talent, but I just come to realize I don't even know what's so great about her anymore. And I, if you guys understand what I'm saying guys, because what I was, I mean, now I know exactly what my dad and my brother was talking about back in 2010 when she was on TNA until the injuries and you know such, but to be honest though, I don't think she, I, I realize she wasn't all that. She was nothing. She's never even accomplished anything in wrestling. But yet, even though she has a fan base, but I'm not calling the fan base of hers out delusional or anything. Okay, and. It's hard to say because, you know, this is some cleanup I need to clean up from the past seven years prior, you know, prior to all the stuff I'm doing now compared to pre-2012, but I mean like 2010, 2011 kind of thing. And I realized I was just going all out acting like she was so great, but she wasn't great. She wasn't great at all. I'm going to regret throwing her and several several like references uh, to what was going on in T- you know like when she was in TNA and then when I was also you know meshing you know Power Rangers with TNA wrestling and knowing that I realized I should have never like no I I realized this this was just all wrong just so wrong. Now, um, now a long time ago, um, now before I had, um, 
Now, before I started, before I did my recent fan casting, now again, about Power Rangers, again, due to the fact this person is a wrestler, or was a wrestler, but now um, I come to realize I should have, you know, this is something that I I wanted to say for a long time, something that I should have put her, you know, when I did those fan castings of celebrities and unknown, you know, you know, performers of sports or stuff like that. I, um, you know, I just thought about this, that when, you know, if I were to go back in time, and this is what I was saying before I made this video, which I recorded July, uh, July 13th, Thursday. Um, you know, looking back on all those fan castings of, you know, what actors, I mean, what, I mean, what people, celebrities or whatever, sports entertainers or whatever, if, you know, these celebrities were in my movies when well, that's why people looked at me like I was delusional and stuff. Looking back, I just got to come to admit that um, when it came to the casting of Trakina for my Power Rangers Lost Galaxy fan film of The Rise of Trakina, I really have to admit who I should have put in the, you know, in the, um, you know, if this would work back then, but you know, again about you know, due to the fact that this 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 is hard to talk about. I mean, this this is like, I mean, this is very hard to discuss video here, you know, sharing the story. And I know it was kind of documented from freaking awesome network in their form of the Daphne and Power Rangers thread, you know, posted back in July 11th of 2011, and I just think looking back on what I said and done and the casting maybe i should have made you know when i fan you know when i thought about daphne because you know i was at the time watching her on tna until you know of course her absence from the main roster but in individual rosters that you know you know in the uh, spinoff rosters of like tna explosion that daphne was you know i, I should have made her instead of her in my mind to be the pink rain uh, another pink ranger but based on her zombie hot appearance and stuff like that, when I did those fan castings, maybe I should have just made her Trakina, I guess, back then. Because, hell, if you, you can recall back in Power Rangers Lost Galaxy's finale with the Trakiniot, Deviat Trakina, you know, hybrid of her, that um, Trakina went psycho. She was, you know, crazy. I didn't know where to go with that. Really. I, I, I didn't. Because looking back on that casting, that fan casting, what was I thinking? No, really, what was I thinking? You know, you know, imagining her as a Pink Ranger and knowing that, okay, happy-go-lucky Pink Ranger, zombie hot aesthetic, does not mix and does not mesh. And making her in that aesthetic was wrong. It was real wrong. I should have picked it maybe, or maybe instead of Daphne, I could have picked it someone, you know, like, you know, back when WWE had the divas division, now just women's division as it's called now, nowadays, as of 2016, 17, I could have picked it any former W, I mean, because, you know, due to the fact not only I'm a Power Rangers fan, but a WWE sort of wrestling fan in general, that I could have had a, a former WWE diva, like, I don't know, Stacey Keebler. Uh, I don't know who could have, who probably has an acting career by this point uh, to be in, you know, if I, you know, fan casting him and imagine him playing a Power Ranger or a Power Rangers villain, then it would have worked. Because. Back then, I, I, I could have fi figured out someone else that could fit that role. Now, considering that Daphne, you know, I, I just thought about this long ago that, you know, actually, even when I even did the, the um, did this video recently, but long that went to speak it out after I did, you know, my first fan film reboot for 2014. And when I canceled my Rise of Trakina fan film, which failed, of course, because to be honest, Rise of Trakina was, looking back on it now, since I finished Wrath of Trakina, Rise of Trakina, Rise was, you know, of course, a failed experiment. That fan film was a failed experiment. The whole entire fanfic was a failed experiment. So 
looking back on the looking back on the castings and stuff, looking back on the fan castings, maybe I should have just made you know Daphne be Trakina in my mind, slap her likeness to Trakina's costume and body and stuff. But I don't know how anybody who is a Power Rangers fan like me or anyone who's into both of the above or whatever or a fan of this person in general. Or maybe I could have picked a someone who is also, um, uh, you know, a, a you know like wrestler mo model, whatever, want, you know, whatever. But maybe I should have picked a someone else, like uh, like back in 2013 when I did a rare fan casting of another former TNA knockout, Shelly Martinez. If she was in, you know, if I imagine Shelly Martinez to be Trakina, but you know, again, I shut that project down. Uh, again, you remember I had a hard time trying to find you know someone who would resemble the character back then and remember that, so you gotta understand. Um, or I could have picked. I mean, you know, court knowing that some wrestlers. I mean, knowing that wrestling is scripted, wrestling is acting, you know, live and all that. But you know, I mean, like acting outside. I mean, outside of you know, live acting, live wrestling, and all that script writing. Uh, you know, like other appearances in TV and film. You know, maybe I should have just, or should have never had Daphne at all. And and the thing, I was really much of a fan of her aesthetic and attire. I just come to find out that, you know, God, this 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 is frust. This is a little frustrating for me. But <clears throat> I have to admit, I, I have to tell the truth because I was. A fan. I, I mean, I, I came off as a fan too late, but due to the fact that, man, what, what, what am I trying to say here? Because, you know, I've waited seven years for this point to say something, but this is probably going to upset those who are fans of this person, knowing that she disappeared after that, after she even, I also heard she had a probation uh, from DUI and stuff in 2011, which was during the the time of her, you know, release and all that. She must, something tells me in a few years she's probably gonna go China's approach, you know, drugs, you know. And the next thing you know, a few years, I'm not, I don't, I'm not wishing it upon her or anything. But look what happened with China, and and we lost her, you know, due to due to you know her drug overdose last year in 2016. Okay. I mean, you know, I was kind of, you know, during the time when I was doing that fanfic, I was really desperate uh, to find, you know, any anyone who could fit that, that you know, persona. And knowing that maybe I should have never meshed Power Rangers with wrestling or some other franchise. Because this was some, I mean, looking back on my fanfic of that in general... It had to be one of the worst things I ever came up with as an 18-year-old teenager. And here I am, 24, going on 25, looking back on it. I, I guess I have to admit, I am ashamed of what I've done over those last couple of years. And it really goes to show that I was really... I was just kind of, put, put it this way, in the heat of the moment. In the heat of the moment. And that's what happened. And... God, if only if I was if only if I had better decisions back then sooner and made better casting choices. But no, but you know what made me want to become a Daphne fan was that one remember that match back when she was in TNA. This was, you know, 2000 early 2010 when you know she was facing uh Tara uh you know, you know, and then you know the the first blood match, I think that's what it was called or something like that. Uh you know, the part, you know, you know that match when uh you know, you remember, you guys remember this. I, I, my, my memory of Daphne faded. So, to be honest, I just wanted to forget about her. But it just seemed to like into this video today, looking back on all the stuff I started since 2010 with this bullcrap Rise of Trakina fanfic um, thing with the Power Rangers fandom, and then meshing it with other things that have nothing to do with this franchise that I'm a fan of, you know, currently. But <clears throat> excuse me again. And it's it's just ridiculous, you know. 
I don't know. I mean, what? I mean, whatever was going on back then that I was doing, I you knew I was trying to do something. Okay, you knew I was trying to do something, but you know it was not going to make any pr proper sense. But to be honest, though, I mean, based on my recollection, looking back, on, I, I was watching some of her uh, classic matches from when she was in WCW, but as a valet, TNA, when, you know, main roster until, you know, fire, you know, her being released and then disappeared off the face of the earth. To be honest, though, based on uh, as uh, much as I've waited to say this 20 minutes later into the video, based on today's title... Daphne sucks. No offense, guys, but she she couldn't. To be honest, looking back in retrospect, she can't wrestle. She couldn't wrestle, really. She can wrestle what she could, but has she ever did a three-strike pinfall against any of the female wrestlers she, she was in ring with during her tenure as a wrestler? No. She was better off being a, um, a valet, you know, 80 camp confidant of a male wrestler, whoever. But that was the that was the thing, guys. It's just looking back, I just come to admit that she was. I mean, to, I mean, admittedly, I mean, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to say here because looking back on this years later, I am just I'm ashamed. I'm real, real ashamed. Of what I what I've been doing all these you know ever since all this crap that I've been doing over the last twelve twelve I'm talking about seven years and and to hear I'm seven years later looking back in retrospect this is some of the crappiest thing one of the crappiest kind of decisions I've done and I know I can't undo the damage when I started the thing started the pro the project starting all this madness on the internet and then look what the heck happened and that's why I came off like being another delusional idiot. And no, seriously, that's what happened. If only if I had proper decisions on who I should have picked sooner, then maybe I could have whatever I could have done. Okay. Because those choices, you know, like picking random people who have never acted in film and all that, but no, I've never even, none of these people will have worked in anything. I've never even, you know, remember, I'm not a real filmmaker. I'm just somebody who's just pretending or wanting to be a filmmaker or an actor and all that and being in, you know, you know, A-list talent with people like these people or those who are just a part of the sports industry, uh, you know, like WWE or TNA. And, you know, even though some WWE superstars and such are in, the, in film and television like The Rock, John Cena is doing reality TV show like Total Divas and then that, sh that reality show he's doing on Fox. And, um, you know, and as much as I hate The Miz and Maurice and, um, you know, those wrestlers like that. I mean, just meshing WWE with... WWT and TNA with Power Rangers, I mean, is it was just one of those fantasies I had back in 2010. So looking back years later, you know, consider I was not taken seriously back when I was such and such. I have to admit, I really was pretty delusional and immature, and pretty much came off like. One of them crazy nuts that people have came across for quite a while. And it just made me feel that maybe I should have never put people like Daphne in fan cast at her if she was a Power Ranger. <laughs> and, or, uh, or a Power Rangers villain. But really, Daphne was never all that. And to be honest, I don't know why there are still people who are still dedicated fans of hers. And... Maybe I should have never been a fan of her, knowing that I was just going by what my dad and my brother said back then, and probably I still now. Well, my I mean, my brother, I forgot about her now. I mean, based on my uh, fascination over Daphne back in 2010, when I was watching TNA, when I treated TNA like, oh, it's better than WWE. But when I come, when, but actually, here's the truth, guys. Now I know I've been longing to say this, but when Daphne was released from TNA, that's why I stopped watching TNA. I mean. I only watched TNA simply for Daphne and probably Angelina Love and Velvet Sky and them. And then, you know, they're still around, but Daphne, she she's way out, out off the face of the earth. So she, she she's not doing anything anymore. 
because remember the injuries, the concussion. Why couldn't you know what I what I suggest that Daphne could have done after wrestling? Maybe she should have did like what Edge just did after he left WWE. Pursue acting and film and television or television or mostly television because I mean Edge. I mean after he had his injury, his you know sternum neck injury. Uh, from sometime in like whatever in like 2009 2010 in WWE maybe Edge I mean I mean maybe Daphne could have did what Edge did moved into acting and you know doing television or something like that I mean you know because life is too short to focus on her wrestling career when she has never wrestled but maybe she could do something like that but no she's disappeared and you know um so therefore she disappeared off the face of the earth like um like China did after she was let go from WWE well back then WWF and crap like that and you know of course 2016 China passed away from a drug overdose and I know to th- you know her death really shocked me because you know it seemed like as though oh I forgot all about China but I totally did for all of it. but however though even I may have forgotten about China completely but I totally, at this point, some years later, wanted to forget about Daphne. Then all of a sudden, this video popped up in my head to do today and just thought about, I don't know why I even, th- I, I mean, why was I thinking about her knowing she's obscure now? She's a faded memory. She was a thing of the past. But I'm not trying to bring back those vibes of what I did seven years ago because 2010 is not here anymore. And what I did back in high school when I did Power Rangers, Lost Galaxy, The Rise of Trakina fan film fanfic thing. And, you know, um, you know, look what happened. And here I am seven years later and I totally screwed up. And I, I really think that... Um, well, it had to happen at some point. And I guess I kind of did came off being a bit of a creep, uh, obsessed fan of Daphne, but that's why I stopped. Um, so, and I think ever since after, I think mainly when that freaking awesome network forum, uh, you know, thread about me popped up in 2011, July, I think that's when I stopped being a Daphne fan. Because when they when they did that article, and I know I can't, I, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to forget that. But why did they all of a sudden, that now it seems like all these pieces coming together, Getting upset, I mean, I mean, getting upset about it at some extent, looking back on that thread. I guess I come to admit that I was crazy and I, I and I'm probably like, I don't know, crazy now, but compared back then. Nowadays, I'm not really into her anymore. I mean, I moved, I've moved on past TNA, past all that stuff it did back in the early 2010s when all of this stuff was going on because looking back, you know, my thoughts since then after 2010 and here I am way, I mean, you know, 2010 feels like it's like it's been ages ago now. And I know I, I, I acted like, well, 2010, to be honest though, the early 2010s, I, I thought was fun. But even though as much as I didn't like my, looking back on my 12th grade year, I have to admit it wasn't the best um, of efforts of stuff. And of course, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy of the Rise of Rakina. That fan film project has been dead. It's uh, just, you know, this is, well, when I initially did it, when I originally wanted Daphne as one of the characters in fan casting, uh, I really should have never put her in the Pink Ranger costume when knowing she, she wouldn't fit with the zombie hot aesthetic with a happy go lucky char- you know, character aesthetic. It, it just doesn't mesh. And. And I get the fact that Daphne, you know, I understand. Now, one thing I do, I still remember, even though I wanted to forget about the, you know, good old zombie hot scream queen of wrestling that she was, I mean, her her gimmick was influenced from, of course, you know, the DC Comics Batman villain Harley Quinn, who is personally one of my favorites, by the way, but was also partial of the Mallory Knox character by, you know, Juliette Lewis in the movie National Born Killers. I mean, natural born killers. I mean, I said national. I mean, natural. Correct. Yeah, typo. Sorry. But when really, was that, was the gimmick that she was doing was going to get her anywhere? I mean, hardly. I mean, I wanted to badmouth Daphne even when I, uh, you know, in my early stance on YouTube back in my other YouTube account that I did before this one. But. No, because then anyone who is a, a, a Daphne fan will probably jump on me and probably jump on this video now because I said, oh, Daphne sucks. But to be honest, though, I mean, I have to admit the truth. She sucked. She absolutely sucked. 
I mean, she can't. I mean, looking back on her her matches, she could throw some punches and stuff, and throwing them to you know th throwing her opponents to turnbuckles and stuff while wrestling. But other than that, she never won. She only won like twice, but that was during the other you know division roster of TNA back in 2010 when she was not present in the main roster when she was also doing other independent circuits and of course the the constant con concussions she had. Well, maybe if she would stop doing that crazy crap, even though it's part of her damn gimmick, then maybe she wouldn't have never had the concussions. That's just what I think. Because, you know, Daphne almost died from those concussions. Or, you know, and, and based on those injuries. Okay? But... I realize I I, I I realize no I shouldn't sound like I, I'm certain now I'm now I'm really really sounding like I'm an obsessed fan when she's no longer around anymore. So, but I gotta realize though. But you know, for a former fan of the zombie hot you know scream queen of wrestling, um, I have to admit though, I just I I was completely fooled thinking that she was gonna be all that great. But I just come to realize she wasn't. She wasn't all that great. If you got, if you, the fans of her, think she's great still, more power to you. But this is just my personal opinion, and, you know, this is something I wanted to say for the longest time. And it just, you know, just cleaning up, cleaning up and trying to remove away from things from the past of what I've done when I started all this hollabaloo crap on social media and all this wikis and whatever I was doing on the internet and why people thought I was crazy and delusional on the internet. I I've been wanting to say this for a long time, but this is what I should have said long ago. But why wait until this point seven, six years later, six, seven years later? Maybe I should have, you know, instead of having Daphne at all, you know, back when I was watching TNA, when back when, you know, I was watching other things other than Power Rangers in 2010, like Pokemon, SpongeBob, whatever I was watching, or Two and a Half Men and whatever was on TV at the time in 2010. Maybe I should have picked a someone, even, well, that's why seven years later, here I am with a actual legit person, fan casting actress that I can pick, that I picked, you know, in my mind to be, in my mind, be Trakina for the fan casting. And that being someone from Sons of Anarchy, not um, Gemma, the other one, Jack's girlfriend for, for the thing. So, yeah, but, but I digress. You know, I will give you this, though. I'll give you one thing I still do like about Daphne, even though my, my memory about her had faded. I guess she is the zombie hot one. She is, she is, well, to be honest, though, sometimes even without all that makeup on and stuff, I think Shannon does look pretty gorgeous. I mean, but her gimmick, though, I mean... Looking back on her gimmick, I see, I understand what she was trying to prove, but that, I mean, I understand. Just part of that nostalgia from the 2010s, you know, 2010 in general, when I was all obsessed about her and stuff. It's just, the, the it's just part of why I'm talking down about Daphne now is part of due to my own nostalgia from, you know, these, these, uh, you know, these past years and years prior to now. I mean, like, like way before, but. When she re was released from TNA, I just want to forget about Daphne now and going by what my dad and my brother's word about her saying, she sucks, she ain't all that and all that stuff. So I had to admit that, yeah, I have to agree with them. And even though, yeah, dad, up in heaven, I have to admit she was nothing. I tried, I, I wasn't listening to you when you said that when you was alive, but I understand. But really, she was nothing. She was nothing compared to what I thought she, I was expecting her to be. She was only around just to look hot or whatever, black magic bitch kind of thing. But no, I just realized I should have never wanted to be a fan. That's why. That's why I kind of gave up on the on on her, uh, you know, as a fan, and due to the fact that her character. I don't see how great I don't I don't see how great how how she how is she all that great. She never even achieved anything. All she did was be around in wrestling WCW and TNA just to be crazy, be a crazy psycho bitch. Uh, you know, and then what led her to get all these damn injuries and then have all these uh, those high rise, you know, high you know, high level knockouts of TNA like Angelina Love and Velvet Sky and Taylor Wilde and them stomp her to the ground all the time. And to be honest, though, Daphne may be like, like what, the outcast of wrestling, but really, I just don't think she was all that. No, seriously, and this is what I get for even mentioning, you know, all that crap I mentioned in that 
you know, stupid wiki wiki article on my other Power Rangers fanfic wiki site that I made back in 2011 with my name on an article and an article about me with all that crazy stuff I was writing on there back then. But I already delete that stuff now because really in real life, I never met Daphne and I probably will never will meet Daphne if she's even around doing anything or, or none at all. So I'm like, all right, I don't want nothing to do with her no more. And all those fake celebrity crushes with people like Wendy Malick and Kate Walsh and Denise Maloney, all that stuff was all fake. I was just doing, I was just writing that crap just to get attention. So there, I, there, I said it. I waited six years, I waited se seven years to mention that stuff. To admit that that was fake, because I know I was just doing, I know back then, when I was, you know, back when I was 18, 19 years old, I was that immature and crazy delusional and acting like, oh, like I was going, like I actually was in relationship with them. No, it was all a lie. I wrote all that stuff because I acted like I wanted to be famous in my mind and, you know, trying to be like the Miz in real life. And you can tell that how crazy I was compared to crazy goth bitch here. But no offense. But I realized I was just being too fanatical about Daphne when no one... She was, she's not the greatest. I don't even think she's the greatest. Hell, I mean, just, that's exactly how I felt, you know, you know, just, you know, it seemed to like after Daphne disappeared from TNA and wrestling in general, and then when I moved, came back to WWE in 2012 to 2013, I saw another, you know, saw WWE's answer to Daphne with AJ Lee. And when I saw AJ Lee in WWE, and you know, I've always hated, you know, AJ Lee and, you know, like. Well, it seemed like, oh, I loved Daphne in TNA, but not AJ Lee when she was in WWE. But no offense, but that's just how it is. I mean, I understand it's a character that she played in wrestling. It's a gimmick, but her gimmick is just underplayed. I get she wanted to be like the Harley Quinn of wrestling and stuff. I don't even know if she's even a comic book fan for that. I mean, she probably already knows about Harley Quinn. She already, I mean, Daphne, when she, you know, back in her humble days of WCW and so it went kaput in 2001, I get that crap. But, I mean, she might have watched Batman the Animated Series or something when she was younger or whatever, uh, or read some comics, or she might be a Batman fan. And where she got the Harley Quinn inspiration with the Mallory Knox inspiration for her character, but I get it. But, but really, I, I mean, I don't know what else to say here, but. That's just simple, guys. I mean, I've waited six years to do this rant. And, you know, I've, I have done a Daphne-related rant back in 2013, but the audio was very mute. It was very low. But this is the loudest I can get with this one four years later based on a rant about her. But, uh, I mean, but seriously, guys, I really did f***ed up. From 2010, but, this, but following her you know, disappearing off the face of the earth since 2011 to now. But here I am personally, since 2010, when all this crap happened, I just realized I really messed up. And I think I am ashamed of what I'd done. Me you know, meshing Daphne with Power Rangers. TNA and Power Rangers back then. And this is what I get. This is what I absolutely get. So basically, this podcast felt like it's a blast from the past in a shameful way. And it's true. It's a very shameful thing I have to say here. And I'm not here to diss on her completely because I don't know her generally. I've never even met her in real life. Never been to any wrestling convention where she was attending back then. Because, again, I really was completely fooled. But no offense, but she sucked, to be honest, so I have to go with that word. But again, if you like her, if you still like her, even if she's no longer around, no longer wrestling and stuff, still, again, more power to you. I'm just sorry, guys. This is all I can, this is all I can say here. So that's it. Nothing else. Nothing more. No less. Nothing. Just, I'm just done. Done here. So... Former Daphne fan Anthony Mars Jr. on PR Lost Galaxy 2014. I really do miss her screaming like a crazy person when she came into the ring. Subscribe, drop a like, share this video with your friends.
Yeah. Simple. Just that's it. I got nothing else to prove. So. Good night.